Axel Reed, don't you dare, my mom exclaims. Then she yelps when my daddy charges through the front door. Don't I dare what, princess? No way that boy is going near my girl. Look at him. He looks like he can't wait to creep on my daughter. Well, there's no need to scare him to death, she mocks. My cheeks heat instantly when I see Dane start backing away from the porch. My hopes of being able to actually go to my senior prom are starting to go up in flames. Poof. Just like that. Not that I should be surprised about it. Mom did her best to calm Daddy down, but we should have known better. He took one look at me and stormed over, only to return ten minutes later looking like he does now. So embarrassing. You need to stop this nonsense right now, you big lug, or you'll be sleeping on the couch. Mom fumes. Like hell I will, woman, Daddy roars at my mom. I watch her face get sharp. He stops long enough to sling one of, that's right, one of, the rifles he's carrying over his shoulder, where it lands next to the other one he already has over his other shoulder. Only my mom would be brave enough to deal with him when he's in protect Danny from everything with a penis mode. He looks absolutely ridiculous. He has two hunting rifles now hanging by their leather straps over each shoulder. He has two handguns strapped to each thick thigh, two on each side of his belt, and various knives along the way. His shirt, which he thinks is hilarious to wear when I attempt to go out on a date, says, I kill things and eat them. I know it's a hunting shirt for animals, not teenage boys, but Dane doesn't.